My oldest daughter um, has turned 11, and she's in sixth grade in middle school. And I can tell that puberty is beginning with her. She's um, crazy. And... Um, <laughs> She's mean as a snake. <laughs> and we're scared death of her, but <laughs> we just tiptoe around her. She cries a lot. She doesn't know why. And she tells us, I don't know why I'm crying. And we just try to get through it. But I'm telling you, she can run a household. She's a grown woman. She has been ever since she got here. So I said, you're going to have to um, come in here, baby. I said, your daddy's going to take care of y'all. I'm going to Nashville for like three days. She bust out crying. I said, what's wrong? She said, don't leave us with him. He doesn't know where the food is. <laughs> I said, well, that's why you're in charge. And she is. God love her. Um, but she, my girls are emotional, and I don't mean to talk about them because I love them, and I know they'll visit me in the nursing home. But I'm... <laughs> They are lunatics. My husband says they're psycho and they need therapy. Um, and I'll give you all an example. I can be in the pickup line at school. And this happened when they were in first grade. And it happens every day when I pick them up at school now. I'm sitting in the pickup line and I can see them come out. And they are in a good mood. And they're goosing each other and giggling and doing and talking and having a good time. They're waving to the teachers and the principal. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Okay. Then they come over to my vehicle. Get in. Shut the door. My 11-year-old take her backpack and sling it and hit me in the back of the head with it. Every day she says something like this. I'm starving to death. You don't have a piece of cheese in this car? <laughs> Your driving's making me car sick. <laughs> I hate her. Why'd you have her? And then my baby will be sitting up there in a daze. She'll be going, Mama, 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 Mama. Mom, what? Mama, mom, mom, what? I'm listening. She asked me some of the craziest things. One day she said to me, Did Jesus ever have head lice? How do you answer something like that? I said, well, baby, if he did, I know he healed it. And then, and then, my girls be whipping each other in the back seat and telling each other how bad they hate each other and they wished each other were dead. And then my sweet boy, my sweet boy will come out. He'll get in and he'll say, you know, they'll build a new Home Depot up on 281. <laughs> Just as happy-go-lucky. He's just like this. He's been like that all of his life. He's 14. He's never sassed me. I know people say it's coming. I'm telling you, I don't think it will. And I'm in love with him. I have been, my husband says I have an unhealthy obsession with him. Whatever. And, um...